Hey everybody, today is January 19th, 2016 and this is the third update to my grow series. It has been exactly two weeks since my last update and the plants are just going nuts. Today I'm going to go around and show you what the plants are and what they look like. Everything that I've grown have sprouted except two. I'll show you what those are and then I'm going to show you the feeding routine and what you should do from this day forth. So let's begin. Last time I showed you my chocolate bootlet, I chopped this guy off and that guy as well and look at the recovery. It's getting really really nice and big now and so is this guy. Let me show you what the roots of these look like. When you grow these in a double cup method, this is the type of roots you would get. Look at that. So by the time you, these are ready to go outside, the root system is already massive. So they're going to get a very fast start. That's the reservoir down there and the roots just go down and get it. At this size you don't need to water from the top anymore unless the soil is completely dry. Give it a little bit of water and let it soak down to around here because the root can get nutrients from the bottom already so you don't need to water too much from the top. Same with this. I don't water from the top anymore when it gets to this size. So let me show you what the roots of these look like. Check that out. That's how big it gets when you feed this nutrients just like that where the roots can get it anytime they need. It's going to grow massive very very fast. And these guys as well, look at that. These are the Butch T Tom's Reaper. And this is my Jamaican Scotch Bonnet Yellow. Last week I mentioned that when they're this size, they're seedlings. Um, as soon as they sprout, move it out to the cup like this or move it out to a container by itself like that. Don't wait until it gets to this size because that's too late. The roots are going to be all tangled up and let me show you why. You see there? You don't know which roots belong to what tree. So you don't want to leave the plant till they get about this size before splitting them. Split them when they get that size. So immediately when you see them sprout, split them out. That's exactly what I did to this guy. Okay, so you saw the Butch Teton Reaper, Jamaican Scotch Bonnet, and this big guy here is the one I split. So that's the same Butch Teton Reaper. That's in the same cup as these were. So I took them out. And you can pretty much see if it's by itself, it grows much bigger because it doesn't have to share space with his brother. Okay? So that's another reason why you should split them. They grow very, very fast by themselves. Okay, and my Bahamian goat. This one here is the Jamaican Scotch Bonnet Yellow. I think that's the same as that. This is the Butch T. Tom's Reaper, it's the CPR. And then the most anticipated plant of the season this year for me is the M.A. Wartix. And I got these seeds from Jose from uh, our pepper lover community. Thanks, Jose. I started four. They all came up, so I split two each. I'm running out of space, so that's the reason why I don't have them in their own container. And then this is uh, the Bleeding Borg 9. I got this from Bruce. Thanks, Bruce. I started a few. And they all came up and I gave the other ones away to a friend because I can't grow all of them. And then I have another Wartex from Dennis. So I listed Dennis' channel before. I'll link it to his channel again. He has a good uh, channel going. He does pepper review and uh, has all kinds of crazy seeds that, uh, that are very rare. And then you already saw the chocolate bootla. Very good size. That one as well. My bubble gum has not sprouted. It's been a while. And everything else sprouted because the, those are the seeds that I know were very, very fresh. I, I, I grew from last year, so I just took the seeds out and grow them. And some of the other seeds were traded from some friends that grew it in the previous season as well. So they're very fresh seeds. So when you have fresh seeds, they sprout between 7 to 10 days. So at the end of this video, I'll put a list of what I'm growing, how, when I started it, and when it sprouted, and how long it took. Here is the red scotch bonnet. Look how big this guy got since last update. 
they grow very fast. As soon as they have roots like this, you feed them from the bottom, they'll take off like crazy. Here I have Jay's Red Ghost. Love that variety. And this is the peach variety, same thing. And then I have the Sugar Rush. I gave a few away to some friends. I basically split all these in half because I always start four seeds. If they all sprout, I'll split them in half and give them away. And this is my MOA Scotch Bonnet. This is, I love this variety. I mentioned that in the last video. And let me show you what the clones look like today. They're, they're fruiting like crazy. See, check out the size of that fruit there. Massive. And then there's fruits there, there's just fruits everywhere. And some of the shape of these fruits are very cool. If I can find it, I'll show it to you. Like that one there. I'm crossing that with something else, if you can see the label. But yeah, look at that. Very cool variety. In the first video, I mentioned the contest going on in the Pepper Lover community. That's the guy I'm using right here for the contest. So guys, if you're watching this on the Pepper Lover community, here's my champion right there. It's, it's a little slower, but don't worry, you'll catch up. <laughs> and then I have the pineapple from Dave. Make sure you check out Dave's channel. He has some amazing stuff going on. Got a ton of nice review he did recently that I really enjoyed. So I'll link you guys to his channel. Butch T C P R. Very good variety as well. My grafted white devil's tail, looking good. And then, Reaper. Gave a, a few away. Two, I have two left. That's all for what I'm growing. So let's go on to uh, what I do to feed this guy. When they're about this size, they are not quite ready to have a lot of nutrients you don't want to give them too much because they'll burn and you damage the plants more than anything so when they're this side give them a few pebbles like there like four or five don't give them too much it will harm the plant then when they get to this size see that they'll shoot roots to the bottom this is what you do here's my hydroponic nutrients I will list all the information below I'm using the general hydroponic you can use master blend if you like so these have already have a few pebbles at the top so I've been watering from the top and as soon as they develop some roots like that then I would take them out like this every morning and just give it a little bit not too much just, that's all you need just for a few drops what it does for the roots is when the, the plant see nutrients, it'll send roots down to get it. So you, eventually you're going to have a ton of roots down here. So that's the, that's the trick that I've been using every year and I would not grow it any other way. Don't water the plants very often. Wait until it's completely dry at the top and then you can give it water from the top. And with those pebbles, the slow releasing pebble, it'll feed the plants for a few, um, three to four weeks. And then when they get to this size, as I mentioned earlier, then you can give it more hydroponic nutrient and you don't have to feed it from the top anymore. So that should cover that. That's pretty much all there is uh, this week. The last thing I want to mention, you see how skinny this plant is? That's because I left it down here away from light. It's going to try to stretch like that to grow taller to get light. When you see your plant looking this skinny and tall, elevate the plant so it can get closer to light and then it'll build a really nice uh, strong stem just like that. See these are doing well so in a, in a few days it will grow and it, it'll be short and stocky like that. That's, that's what you want because you want strong plants and not skinny plants. Okay. So that's all there is for this update. I hope you find the information useful. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below. And uh, please come join the Pepper community. There's a ton of good people there that are just very happy to share information. There's a lot of seeds trading going on there. Um, we're like a family, so come join us and we'll love to have you. All right. Thank you for watching.